کس رو آرک or Khosro Ark or called the Archway of Tisfun is located around 35 kilometers south of Baghdad in Iraq. It is the only above ground structure that remains of Tisfun, an ancient city that acted as the royal capital of the Persian Empire, particularly during the Parthian and Sasanian periods until the Muslim conquest of the region in the 7th century. There is some dispute as the year of its construction. The archway is at least 1700 years old. It was part of the city's palace complex, possibly the ceiling of the throne room itself, rising to 37 meters in height and strength a one meter thick at its approximately seven meters thick at its supporting base is considered to be the largest single span break arch in the world Castro arch is made of break and only with the help of gypsum mortar this appeared the damage of many wars, floods, and earthquakes. This arch is still standing. The purpose of the Sassanid kings in building palaces and arches was to show the power and wealth of the empire. Hello dear friends who are watching this video. Welcome to Top Build channel. Our intention is to introduce the details of valuable historical and unique cultural buildings of across the world. In this video, I would like to introduce in everything about the Castro Arch and if you are interested in such information and would like to follow similar videos, please subscribe to the channel and be notified of new videos by smash ringing the bell icon and also your comments might help us to improve the quality of the videos and contents history of tisfun the ancient city of tisfun on the banks of tigris is located around 35 kilometers southeast of baghdad established in the late 120s bc it was one of the great cities of late ancient Mesopotamia and the largest city in the world from 570 AD until its fall in 637 AD during the Muslim conquest which served as the palace of Sasanian king Khosrow I in the late 6th century. The archway is one of the largest single span arc of unreinforced brickwork in the world. Tisfun was founded by Mithridates I, the king of the Parthian Empire, as a place of royal residence after he annexed Babylonia by defeating the Greeks. Under the Parthian rule, Tisfun became the political and commercial center of the region and by 58 BC it had become the empire's capital. In the second century, the Togo war of power between the Romans and the Parthians caused Tisfun to change hands between the two empires for the total of six times. During the last possession, the Romans destroyed and looted the city, destroyed palaces and carried off thousands of its inhabitants as slaves. In 226 AD, the city fell into the hands of the Sassanian Empire and Tisfun flourished once again. The oldest inhabitant places of Tisfun, which is Arabic sources is called the Old City, 
were the residence of the Sasanians known as a white palace was located. Sasanian era The exact time of construction is not known with certainly. Some historians believe the founder is Shapur I who ruled Persian from 242 to 272 CE and some others believe that construction possibly began during the region of Anushirawan or Khosrow I after a campaign against the Byzantines in 540 calendar era. Madain porch or Ivan Madain was part of a large royal palace estimated at 365 by 275 meters. Castro's arch and palace were severely damaged after the Arab invasion of Iran and parts of their influence were destroyed. There are other historical monuments around this palace of which only ruins remain at present. These monuments which were formerly part of Castro's mansion included Castro's shrine and the treasury building. Arab Muslim period The structure was captured by the Arabs during the conquest of Persia in 637 CE. They used it as a mosque for a while until the area was gradually abandoned. In the early 10th century, the Abbasid Caliph al Muqtafi dug up the ruins of the palace to reuse its breaks in the construction of the Taj Palace in Baghdad. Many inscriptions mention the existence of a huge carpet and jewels that the Arab invaders tore to pieces. Victorian era. In 1851 CE, French artist Eugen Flandin visited and studied the structure with Pascal Cast, who remarked the Romans had nothing similar or the type. In 1888 CE, a serious flood demolished the greater part of the building. Later, on the northern right side, was reconstructed during the restoration program by Saddam Hussein. Modern Era The monument was in the process of being rebuilt by Saddam Hussein's government in the course of the 1980s, when the fallen northern wing was partially rebuilt all works, however, stopped after the 1991 Persian Gulf War. From 2004 to 2008, the Iraq government co cooperated with the University of Chicago's Diala project to restore the site at the cost of $100,000. Then, Ministry of Culture also invited a Czech company to restore the site. This restoration was completed in 2017. Central Hall The Arch A1 Hall, open on the facade side, was about 37 meters high and 26 meters across and 50 meters long, the largest man-made freestanding arch constructed until modern times. The arch was part of the imperial palace complex. The throne room presumably under the behind the arch 
was more than 30 meters high and covered an area 24 meters wide by 48 meters long. The top of the arch is about 1 meter thick while the walls at the base are up to 7 meters thick. The arch was built without centering. In order to make this possible, a number of techniques were used. The bricks were laid about 18 degrees from the vertical which allowed them to be partially supported by the rear wall during construction. The quick drying cement used as mortar allowed the fresh bricks to be quickly supported by those that were previously laid. For many years, Castro Arch was a remarkable example for many world famous architects who designed and built structures inspired by it. Andre Godard, a prominent French architect, designed the Arch of the Museum of Ancient Iran in Tehran in 1929. The main arch of the building is made similar from the Castro Arch. Demolition and restoration in the contemporary era. In 1980s, by order of Saddam Hussein, the area around the Castro Arch became a recreation area for the people to commemorate the Arab conquest of Iran. Of course, most of these facilities were destroyed after the US invasion of Iraq in 2003. During Saddam's time, the collapsed facade of the Castro Arch was partially restored. A few years ago, the Iraq government invited a company in the Czech Republic to repair the arch. The amount of repairs done by this company was not enough because the Czech company mainly carries out the construction and repair of contemporary and modern buildings. Shortly after the reconstruction, the protective layer stretched over the arch was worn out and some of these cracks reappeared. Also tools that damage the antiques monument were used during the restoration. In March 2019, part of the arch, which is said to have been restored, collapsed. Promises were made during the Iraq Minister of Culture's visit to repair and maintain the building. Decorating The walls inside the porch had a fraction of elaborate decorations and were decorated with colored marble taken from the church of Antioch and glass mosaic. Describe battle scenes like the one showing Khosrow first is riding a yellow horse in the city of Antioch. The floors were covered with thick marble slabs lined with silk rugs with garden patterns and trees and streams of water. Glass mosaic was used in the arch. Small fragments of these mosaics have been found, although no trace of the maps themselves has been found. Documentary The documentary Castro Arch Architectural Wonders made by Pejman Akbarzadeh about history of this ancient building was screened for the first time in February 2018 in Britain. UNESCO Register None of these reports which have been published in Iranian national media in recent years about the joint efforts of Iran or Iraq to jointly inscribe 
the building on the UNESCO World Heritage List have any basis because today the Castro Arch is located in Iraq and only that country can apply for its registration. But the Iraq Ministry of Culture has not even submitted a preliminary file to UNESCO for registration of the Ark. The Castro Arch Monument has remained unresolved in the promises of the Iran and Iraq for many years. Sassanid period building for Iranian architecture that is inside Iraq and every time a part of that collapses. It is believed that the collapse of this monument is not only a great loss to the history and culture of Iran or Iraq, but also a great loss to humanity and it would destroy part of this unique architecture. We hope that future generations will do their best to preserve this amazing masterpiece of architecture and engineering art so that the identity document of human ancestors will remain immortal. Well, dear friends, this video ends up here. The sources and references that you used are given at the descriptions, which we hope it will be useful. Please tell us your opinion about this video with your like and comments to improve the quality and content. In the next videos, we will be with you to introduce some unique building and symbol of architecture of different countries. See you on next videos.